Hi everyone, my name is Miracle Norm. I am the face behind Shop by Joe Productions. I'm a DP in Toronto, Canada, and I love to shoot commercials, music videos, movies, and this is getting to know me. So, funny enough, Shop by Joe started uh, three or four years ago when I was back in uni. I started off learning with my friend Fifo. Um, he had a YouTube channel called Professor Fifo. Um, so I reached out to him. I wanted to know how videos were being like made, like the thought process behind it. I've always also been a fan. I would, I would watch a lot of the BTS or movies. So we started learning. He taught me a lot how to edit. And then um, down the line, I decided to like once I was done school, I decided to start shop by John. Actually, take it seriously. And yeah, it's been good since then. That's a good question. I think mainly just the passion, the love behind it, um, helping clients achieve like their ideas, bringing their ideas to real life. I think that really getting to that end goal, it really inspires me. Especially doing those tough projects, you know. I'll say just that idea of getting to the end. That's really, really what inspires me. Yeah. Cool. Um, I'll say Christopher Nolan, um, his movies, like whenever you watch his movies, there is always something that keeps you like guessing, like this, you never really know what to expect, like Oppenheimer or Telnet or even the, the Batman trilogy, like those are like his main movies that I've watched that I really fell in love with. Um, I also am inspired by Michael Bay, I love his storytelling in, like in the Transformers. And then some Nigerian directors, I really love T.J. Omori's work, as well as Dami Twitch. Dami Twitch right now, I'm really in love with Dami Twitch's work. Um, yeah, his storytelling is amazing. Cool. Um, so I have two this year that were really my favorites. Uh, one was in Ohio. We went to Ohio to shoot a music video in four days. That project was very challenging. Like we randomly, we so most of our locations were like in the forest, you know. So um, it was very very challenging, but it was a very very good experience. Uh, my second one uh, recently we wrapped up on a movie, an actual future movie. It's it's coming out sometime next year, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, that was very very interesting. We shot for. We shot for nine days straight and um, you know, that was that was challenging uh, but shout out to the crew so i get a lot of inspiration from instagram my feed is has a lot of creators a lot of people in my field so once i get some of those inspirations i'm looking at it i'm like okay this is something that i, I would love to recreate or how can i make it better or how can i make it look better or something um, so I save a lot of that inspiration and then when I actually start planning a shoot I'll take some of those ideas into Miller Notes and then start working on my pre-production So most times on Miller Notes you can add like references, reference pictures of like movies for example Or lighting or mood and all of that and then I start planning okay do I need to rent gear? How does the location look? How does the light look? You know um, And then most times pre-production takes a lot of time but try to invest as much time into pre-production as much as possible because it will make production and post-production so easy. And then production comes, you have normally would have a short list and then that short list you're following it on set, um, you know, making sure you're taking off the shots that you've gotten. And then post-production most times will be a lot easier once pre-production and production goes together. So yeah, that's mainly my process. When things are going very hard, especially on sets, try to smile <laughs> or try to like motivate people around you because we had a lot of that, especially on this our, our um, movie. We had a lot of tough times, and most times what got us through was just you know cracking jokes on set or um, being able to laugh with each other. So I think definitely like when I'll say. And advice for like upcoming cinematographers on sets try to always keep good vibes you know that will keep you going through the tough, tough
tough times. A lot. Yeah. Definitely. Nobody's funnier than me. No, no, it's the truth now. It's the truth. <laughs> it's the truth. <laughs> it's the truth. <laughs> It's the truth. Uh, <laughs> it's the truth now. <laughs> Definitely my camera. I use the Sony A7 IV uh, tripod. Tripod is very, very important. Uh, recently, I got a production monitor. Um, it's, it changes the game completely. Um, lights and mic. Yes. Nikon. <laughs> Nikon. Nikon. Nikon is a potato literally. <laughs> if I was to rank them, I would say like the best brand in terms of cameras, Ari Alexa or something. But then Nikon is on. Nikon is at the bottom. They shouldn't be selling Nikon. <laughs> For me, most times after a long shoot, to be honest, I block everyone. Um, at least for like a week or two weeks. That's the truth. I block everyone, and then in that moment, I'm just most times just relaxing at home, playing games, or I'll take a vacation or something. But no one reaches me after I've wrapped up, at least for a week, and then I'll, I'll block everyone again. That's my best way to unwind for for, for long shoot days. At the beginning of the year, um, I had set a goal to shoot a film. Um, so that already wraps up the year for me, like in good terms. But next year, I'm looking forward to shooting more films, um, as well as actually going to film school full time. Um, definitely in the city, I'll say Danesi. Uh, Hip hop is grinding a lot. Um, there's a director called The 97. I've used or been inspired by a lot of his work in some of my recent projects. And um, Hollywood, Christopher Nolan. Without a doubt. I'll hold his hand. <laughs> Without a doubt. I love that man so much. His work is so, so good. And I, I, I hope to get to meet him one day. Or, uh, you know, get my work seen by him one day. a lot of people um, but if I was to narrow it down I'll say my mom uh, my mom has always just been involved in it um, she's always had the passion for it as well we share the same passion behind it um, she wants to always know like oh what am I filming or you know when I'm flying my drone she wants to know oh my god how does the drone work and everything so yeah I'll say my my mom definitely but a lot of people around me support me so that's good my mom hasn't been upset to me, but uh, when I go back to Nigeria, I'm hoping to film some stuff and actually bring her on set with me. Yeah. So at the beginning, when I started, it hurt. Like it hurt a lot. Um, I had a brand that I worked with, and um, when we were filming, there was just a lot of things that did not go as planned. And I remember the final video came out, or the final delivery came out, and they didn't really love it. And they criticized it in a way that it was fine, but then it was more like also insultful as well. So I really struggled with that, but it lent, it helped me grow. Now, most times when I'm on set, even if somebody, if someone has an idea, of, let's say a short idea or a camera idea, I'm always open to it. So back then I was always working alone, you know, like I was very tight about my work or what type of shot. But like since then I've been very been more a lot more collaborative with people. So it helped me, you know, grow. So yeah. But that was it was tough. It was tough like hearing that from someone, but yeah. That was like my first bad review. Don't quit. It's so hard to like. You see a lot of things happen in this industry. This industry is not an easy industry to get into. You see a lot of things happen to you, insults, a lot of stuff in general would happen. 
and those moments it's so easy for you to quit but don't quit just keep grinding and you will eventually get to where you you know where you want to get to so yeah don't quit and start the love when I took a lot of time before I actually started Shot by Joe, I was so nervous. So what would we think about Shot by Joe? Blah, 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 blah. And, you know, that was three years ago. So start and don't quit. Very important. Uh, I'll say movies, definitely. Um, because that's just where I want to end up shooting or being a DP or a director of a big Hollywood movie. I want to get to like, experience that. Um, I also love shooting commercials as well. Future Miracle. Um, this is past Miracle. Um, you are going to be... At the time you're watching this, you're going to be very... You would have shot on a very big Hollywood set slash TV show and you would have won multiple awards. I would say the best advice I've gotten is collaborating more with people. Um, I didn't really used to do a lot of that like last year, but this year I've been working with like teams of people and it's made uh, filmmaking a lot more fun. So, yeah. The best team I've worked with. Best team I've worked with. You guys. You guys, yeah, definitely. You guys. Ope and Daryl. You know, shout out to my team. They're the best team so far. Do you also to hear that? No, bitch. <laughs> Definitely more projects. Uh, my movie, our movie coming out. Um, yeah, next year is going to be a great year. Thank you guys. Wow. And that's a wrap. That's a wrap.